Welcome to One on One. This week, my guests are Jane Goldman and Jonathan Ross. They're married. She once wanted to marry me. When she was 14, she sat on my doorstep and made plans for our wedding, but it wasn't to be. You want to meet them? I'm desperate. Welcome to my home. My guests this week are Yoko Ono and Boy George, <laughs> alias Jonathan Ross and Jane Goldman. It's the scariest one I've ever been introduced. <laughs> so I do this horrible thing when I interview people. I do a little test on them using this nine key thing, which is a really old form of astrology. And it's brilliantly accurate. And you have the same numbers as Yoko Ono. Oh, what is that? Is that a good thing? Well, you like Yoko Ono. I love her. I but, love you. Well, that's, well, then we're in good company then. But what does it actually show you about this? Hold on, and you have the same numbers as me. I'm delighted to hear that. Well, I knew it. Obviously. <laughs> but um, what it does tell you about you is that you're very into money. Yeah, I am. But I'm not into money for its own sake. I'm actually into money for the security it buys. I've got this sort of worry about not providing for people. So really, and I love, you know, le leading a comfortable life and being able to afford the things I want. But I've never been into amassing money. I mean, I'm used to saving it. I never save money. You know, I'm, and I'm really not into the concept of showing off about money, but I really like having mm. beautiful things and being able to earn it. And it's nice, you know, you kind of measure your worth in that way, don't you, I think, sometimes. The other, the other thing that I found out is that you're extremely jealous. Yeah, you know what? I think I, I never, I don't know, maybe I just hid it for myself for years because I used to pride myself on not being jealous. Yeah. But recently I've got quite jealous, haven't I? I think, I think you always were, yeah. but you did hide it really well. I think you hide it more now than ever but you know what because it's such a thing you don't want to admit about yourself if you're a decent person i think you don't want to admit to being jealous and you don't want to feel jealous but you just can't help it you came to my 40th birthday party which was great and you got more publicity than i did i was which furious <laughs> i think i earned i did, really didn't intend that and i hope you forgive me you know of i wasn't I, forgive you. I wasn't in any way because you looked fantastic but people were coming up to me i had friends boys coming up to me saying can you introduce me to the to jane i was like absolutely <laughs> all they wanted to do was look at her boobs yeah well i share that I look at them all the time. Even now, this is what's nice about a relationship, I think, is even last night when you came to the bedroom and you were talking to someone, I was pretending to listen and I was just checking out your tits. <laughs> That's really nice. Though. But I was listening as well and I was paying attention. But isn't it nice that after, like, what is it, 13 years, years of marriage and 15 years together, yeah. I'm still checking you out all the yeah, time? Yeah, that is good. What kind of child were you? I was, I was very introverted, I was very shy, I was quite inconfident, and I was, I was fairly happy, but I was um, kind of insular. You know, I only had like one real friend, maybe two, you know, a bit wound up about things. So when did you become so gobby? When I was kind of like 11, 12, 13, I began to realise it's the classic thing that I could kind of deflect criticism and earn sort of some sort of an odd popularity. By being funny? By making people laugh, yeah. So I started then at that age, sort of 12, 13, around there. Um, and then that just sort of got worse and worse. So what were you like with teachers? Teachers, I was okay. I mean, I went to a school, you know, I went to your standard East London working class school. There were about 30 in a class, 35 in some. You didn't really get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with the teachers. As long as you kept quiet and sat in the back, you didn't get bothered that much. You know, so... See, I can't imagine you being quiet. Well, I'm fairly quiet sometimes at home, aren't I? I asked Jane the other day whether, like, while you're having sex, does he, like, come up with one-liners? <laughs> I do. I'll often make jokes. Uh, immediately after Tommy Cooper, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, during a occasion, I make jokes during, don't I? He doesn't. He doesn't so much joke during me. He doesn't talk. <laughs> but I kind of sometimes wish I was a very different person because like I'm always no. impressed by people who can be really serious about all that sort of thing, and I can't. And I think we sort of, in no. a way, you're missing out on the kind of romantic hero sweeping you up, and taking you in the bedroom. Oh, I don't know. No, I'm it's more likely nice. to say, "Is I your think... vagina open for business tonight?" <laughs> 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 sure. I did say that to you once. <laughs> I, I did actually. Yeah. I, thought you I just hope your mother has, hasn't got cable. But you know, it's a joke, <laughs> you know. It's, I, I do find that. But I'm. But no, it's nice. I think it's. Um, I think it's. Uh, I'm more talkative well, than you are in the bed. And did you want to marry someone famous? 
for me? No, Jane. Oh, Jane, um, yeah. Shut up, you. Jane, <laughs> this is all about Jane. Um, <laughs> we found her diary. <laughs> <laughs> Did you sleep outside his house in a tent? <laughs> I didn't what, have to. Yeah, you know. can I reveal this? What? Jane wanted to marry you, I think, when she was younger. When I was 11. We found my diary from when well, I was 11. We, you've got to tell me no, this. Jane, you've got to tell me it's the most famous. No. <laughs> so it was fantastic. Oh, please. I was 11, though. Okay, well, when oh, you were 11, what did you write in your diary no, about you your dream say. marriage? You can say. I can't remember no. the details. Because <laughs> it was quite specific. It was not just that she wanted to marry you, George. She'd even chosen the outfits you were both going to wear. <laughs> right, which were, what were they? <laughs> Wasn't it kind of like big white baggy T-shirts with relax written on them or something? No. Like, it was something like that. No. What was it? Pixie it was boots. something like a white sweatshirt. White sweatshirts. <laughs> you didn't ever have got me in a white sh oh, sweatshirt, no. Jane. I, don't I, mean, know what I, was I don't think she'd really have got you up the aisle, would she? No, I don't Possibly. know what I was thinking. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I got so bad. But then there was a list of people she've had attractive, which included um, Gene Wilder and um, Malcolm McLaren. Now I feel really good about myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really embarrassed now. I was, <laughs> I was 11, though. Well, um, I wanted to marry my aunt when I was six. <laughs> and she sent us the letters. And, you know, they're very sweet and embarrassing. But oh. six is different to 11. <laughs> It's not that much um, difference. Because we were married we're only a few years after that. Yeah, when we really think about it, it'd be married. bizarre. We were together at the time. You were 17. 16. 16. But when we got married, you were 17 or 18. Yeah, just what's the age difference? Just turned 18. Just turned 18. 10 years. Just 10 years. About, not, yeah. You just turned 18 when we got I married. That's right. 10 but years. No, I, no, I didn't. I wasn't aiming to marry someone famous. I was just aiming to hook up with someone that I could connect with. But in some way, you know, I suppose. I don't know. I think it would have had to have been someone a bit off the wall and people who tend to get be in the public eye tend to be a bit you definitely different. lucked out there then. Mm. <laughs> yeah <laughs>
Have well, you I'm, ever cheated on each other? No. No, I haven't. I don't think we would. No, I don't think we would. Although we shouldn't say as though it's something you do at the same time together. <laughs> I don't think we would. Obviously, <laughs> well, we wouldn't because you can't no. do it that way. But no, I don't think... I think we're both... I know I'm a terrible liar and I don't think I could ever do something and keep it secret and, and I don't think I could live with the guilt and I... See, I actually I think if you do cheat on your partner, the worst thing you could do is tell them. Yeah, but you know, I, d I think you? if you want to cheat on your partner, just leave the partner. If you want to be doing that, don't be with them. I mean, I think it's much worse for you as well to carry around kind of deceit and try and hide secrets. Yeah, I don't, you've I don't always know where people that. get the energy from. I, mean, I know people who cheat on their partners and I'm just always mm. amazed like, why do you do that? Why not just say, I really don't want to be with you anymore? Or I'd like to, I'm, I want to go and just have sex with people or another relationship and maybe we'll get back together, maybe we won't. Yeah, that would be much better for you as well, surely. I, mean, mm. I know it's difficult at the time, but surely being found out and how horrible it must be for the other person, I always thought to show how disrespect, the fact that you've been lying to them for that period of time would be just the worst thing you could do to someone, I think. You know, to say, I was here with you pretending to still be with you, and yet really my thoughts and my desires were But you can find more than one person attractive at the same time. Yeah, you yeah. can do that. Oh, yeah. But I think if you want to talk about that, fine, if you want to deal with it. But to actually keep it a secret in your heart and then go out and maybe have sex with them I or form a relationship with them. I think it's that betrayal is the worst thing. I can't imagine ever. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I'd much rather know. But yeah, no, you certainly can find two people. But Gemini's, by their nature, have roving eyes. I just talked to Jonathan about it. <laughs> don't, I don't lie give to it me. A secret. Yeah, I know. No, 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 yeah. Jay doesn't talk to me about it much because no, no. I do get cross about it. I know. So no, we're in that awkward I wouldn't, position. I would never keep anything that I was even thinking a secret, so. But you know, I feel so, quite comfortable. No. <laughs> Jay. No, honestly. No, because I have. We've, you know. Let's talk later, you. <laughs> no, um, we'll talk about this in the car. No. Welcome back. I'm talking to Jonathan Ross and Jane Goldman about sex, lingerie, paganism, and marriage. What more could you want? That is the perfect marriage. <laughs> <laughs> How long do you, th do you think your marriage is going to last? Um, I think it will definitely. I, so. I think it will definitely last till the children are grown up. Yeah. And then I think we'll hopefully we'll stay together. But mm. I think if we don't stay together, it will be because because either both of us or one of us really doesn't want to, and it, I don't think it'll be a horrible problem. No. I like mean, the I think way you your can parents. Never say. I think. You but the way your parents split up, I think was really good. And I know it upset your dad at first, but the fact that they're both no, they're, they're, they're both, both very now really happy and, and they're really good friends and. and that's so much healthier than them just staying together and actually kind of somewhat mm. stifling each other, mm. which is what was happening, wasn't it? Yeah. Now, I prefer if I've been out with someone to try and maintain some kind of friendship, but some people yeah. you can't do that with. I don't think I'm friends with any of my ex-girlfriends, am I? Would you allow him to be? Oh, yeah. Of course I would. I'm, yeah, I would, actually. I'm, I'm pretty but secure. I don't really have many female friends anyway, do I? I've got, like, one. No. One, who's my best friend. So do you take the attitude that he'll never find anyone as gorgeous as you? <laughs> <laughs> you know the answer's yes, because that's what you yeah. <laughs> Sometimes but they do, though. That's the problem. No, no, I know. No, <laughs> you, that's two, not... you two are just weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not that, no, that's not my attitude. But I do think, <clears throat> I think we are well suited in a lot of very weird ways. And I think, I know that there's aspects of other people that he might find really attractive. But I think there's other little things that you, I think, why are you making your face? I'm just mugging. I was trying to amuse George. Right, okay. Yeah, she's right there. <laughs> no, but I mean, I think, um, I think there'd be other elements of the equation missing. That's not to say you wouldn't find anyone else you'd be happy with, but, but I just think... Um, would, you, would you want him to be happy? <laughs> <laughs> no, you wouldn't really, would you? I'd well, want no, I wouldn't mind. So if Jonathan did leave you, would you really, really honestly want him to be happy? Oh, if he'd left me, no, of course I wouldn't. But, um, but if we'd split mutually, I'd desperately want him to yeah, be no, happy. Yeah, that would happen. I what? don't think people do split mutually. Exactly. How do, you, yeah. how do you do that? I don't think people I do. Know. I think one, one of you Dragon. says, either I'm seeing someone else or I just don't want to be with you anymore. And the other person is bound to feel wounded and upset. And yeah. I think we deal with it very differently if we were to do that. But who knows, you know? We certainly don't intend to. Certainly, when you feel slighted by someone, or upset by something, or crossed by something, there is about a week where you plan the most revolting, awful, <laughs> hideous revenges. <laughs> and she'll stop my letters and she'll show me letters she's written that she's going to post, or blackmail. But do you she's post them? Put them together. No. Not See, I usually. post them. That's why. 
That's where I met my mistake. And I, I think I got yeah. one, actually. From me? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, you're, what you do is healthy, I think, because I think getting out of your system yeah. somehow and then not sending it out into the world is probably a good thing, because no, you I, need to get the poison out of you, I, but you don't need to pass it on to someone. I think but if it you're serves sending the same them, I think purpose. that's... I think it serves the same purpose. I think writing it down it first yeah. and then taking a breather is a good idea. I think the only bad thing about sending them is if you... Yeah, that's No, but I do things that I'll write the letter at one in the morning, then I get in a cab. <laughs> and I post it. You, you should do that. I mean, that's 40, you, 40 years old. Come on, what am I going to learn? If you could just sleep on it. Six years of therapy. <laughs> and then think? you know they're going to get the letter. Oh, no, that's hard. Mm. With time, anything that seemed like the most awful yeah, world never seems as big or as bad as it actually was at the time. It's, it always seems controllable and that's dealable. That's true. Really. And you've got three kids. Three, yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. kind of kind of that's sort of I mean, A we love having them, but also that, yeah. that is a, an extra bit of glue that helps the relationship stay together because obviously you always have to think of the repercussions when it comes to them. So if we were rowing, and we have rows occasionally. Everyone has rows. Yeah, and when we do, you know, if it gets to stage where I'm thinking of moving down to the end of the spare bedroom in the end <laughs> of the hall. I mean I wouldn't do that anyway, George. I'm saying why is this is why Jane's like you because Jane I know would come in there with a knife <laughs> and threaten me with the kitchen maid. <laughs> You know, she wouldn't let me slope off. One of those see, electric ones. See, I'm very, <laughs> I'm very <laughs> passive aggressive. I'll go, I'll, I'll think by withholding my affection and therefore striking a blow for the yeah. relationship. And Jane will come in there and sort of like look like Glenn Close at the end of Fatal Attraction. So who's the first to turn their back after a row? What, you mean um, in terms of try and get away from it? Or? You know, if you're having a row in bed, say, it, it follows into bed. Oh, me. Oh, totally. Oh, oh, I'll roll over and I'll try and deny it and I'll be like, right, I'm going to bed. I'm going to sit. <laughs> so how is easy to seduce back? Um, no, he's quite easy. <laughs> oh, don't take us there because this is already depressing. <laughs> oh, <it's quite> depressing. <laughs> I hate our wows. I hate <laughs> our wows. And I lie then, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm never going to speak to you again and I'm never going to let you have sex with me again and in about two months' time you're going to really miss it and then, <laughs> then you'll come begging. And then, like, literally in about 15 minutes, I'm sort of coming up to going, any chance for a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, but that's that's nice. It's sweet, yeah. but you do. Jane is very good now. She's really kind of got my um, got me sorted out personally. Wise, and she knows how to sort of like force me to sort of deal with whatever issue we deal with, and then we'll talk about it. And then by the end of the evening, almost without exception, it's so depressing. I will be apologising, <laughs> even though I'll be so certain I was right earlier on in the evening. By the end of it, she's got me around. I'm going, yeah, I'm sorry, I said that. Well, she gives you a certain look. Well, no, she'll just say to me, look, you know, you can't say that and you shouldn't say those things. And when you say those big generalisations, don't you realise how much it hurts me? Because things don't affect me the same way. I think I've got better way. at communication. I think when we were first That's going out, I used to just sort of hit below the belt as well. And, um, and then it would just degenerate Or occasionally horribly. throw cups near my head. Oh, we both used to throw things. We both that great. I never threw things That's at you. Good. I used to throw things kind of near you. <laughs> Okay. Which is very different. <laughs> is you don't with her. What if she says, like, if I'm angry, you go, oh, and I think something over there. Bad throw. Yeah, but no, <laughs> yeah. no. No, believe me, if I wanted very to hit, I would have done. You know, it's like I, but I remember there was a hole in one of our walls for about three years at the old house where you'd thrown a cup. No, no, you, you threw Oh, was that me yeah, throwing you a cup? Threw the coffee Do you remember cup the time that you were angry about not fitting into an outfit or something? Yeah. And you weren't even angry at me. And yeah. I went downstairs, and I was walking downstairs, I heard a smash. I looked out the window, and I saw a plank of wood fly past. It wasn't there, you know what it was? It was a mankala board. Oh, it was an African board. A board big bit of wood about this big. Just went flying out the window. And I said, Did you just throw something out the window? And it was because you couldn't get into a pair of jeans or something. We had to go somewhere in a hurry. Thanks for saying that. Well, I'm just, I think but it I shows you a really this nice thing light. I do. But it's weird how you can get. I mean, I guess maybe that is both in your character traits and that kind of level. Maybe. But you haven't done that for you. I mean, admittedly, that no. was like 12 years ago. That I don't think you've done anything like that. Right. But at all no, I think I think I realised that one of us had to um, take charge of the communicating, otherwise we wouldn't communicate at all. So I suppose I try and keep calm and try and make us actually talk about what the problem is. Yeah, but I don't even like talking about this I know, now. Now, what about your own kids when they get to the age where they start being rebellious, wanting to do their own thing? Mm. How are you going to be as a parent? I have no idea. It's hard to say. Because obviously what you want for yourself and what mm. you want for your children mm. is entirely different. I mean, it's... Mick Jagger can hardly tell his kid not to have a spliff. No. I mean, it's, 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 it's gradually dawning on me, and I, I think you as well probably, but you might disagree, which is that um, you don't, you know, you just can't, you're not really anywhere near as central in their life as you think you are, initially. You know, it's, it's just a simple sort of like, it's a simple game to play, but you just put yourself in their shoes and remember how you felt about your parents. And actually, 
even though we probably we have much more interaction than I mean maybe not you because you were an only child but certainly me I didn't have that much interaction with my parents my dad was away working all the time and my mum would you know make us tea and then we'd be upstairs or off playing with friends and stuff um, so we have much more interest in that but even so you're just a figure on the on the fringe of their life you're one of a group of but figures you know, who I matter think to say so you're the middle mean. child mm. you are yeah that's why you said same as me. Yeah, and your, so your reaction with your parents probably was... That's why I was so damaged, Jonathan. <laughs> Speak for yourself, I'm fine. I'm perfectly okay. Now, yeah, I'm sure there is part He's of... He's mad reason, as a rhubarb sling. The, <laughs> part of the reason why we're looking for this attention and admiration and, you know, endorsement is because of that, probably, that lack of attention. But do you think that that's what fame is about? Because that's what I believe, that it's a, a sort of endless search for love. Well, to an extent, but I think also you probably do what you do because you love music and you like singing and it always mattered to you and it was part of your life and you've, you've been gifted with a voice, you know. I like doing what I do because I am actually good at it, you know, and, and, and the rewards are there, you know. You'd be doing something else for a living anyway. Why not do something that you're fun and you're good at? But how did you find out you were good at it? I sort of stumbled into it. I mean, I've worked in TV for a while before I wound up doing this. I mean, I've been in TV for eight years before I wound up presenting shows, so, you know, and I'd seen enough people who weren't any good at it making quite a good living. And when do you think you'll retire? I don't know. You know, the interesting thing about my line of work is you kind of don't have to retire. As long as jobs are there, you know, you can keep going until you're 70 if you want to. I think what I'll do is probably, I mean, I'm working very hard at the moment, mm -hmm. aren't I? And, and enjoying it. But I wouldn't mind, you know, I wouldn't mind in a couple of years slowing it down a bit and just doing fewer shows, but ones that I really love doing. And yeah, I, just, I don't want to miss, I mean, the, thing, the nice thing is I'm there a lot with the kids at the moment. Yeah. So, you know, it's not like I feel like I'm missing out, but it'd be quite nice maybe to have, like... I mean, at the moment, I'm looking at next year and I've got three weeks off in August, but apart from that, I'm working pretty solidly. I mean, it must be how it was for you touring sometimes. It's like that now. But then, that's what everyone's life is, isn't it? I mean, I've decided not to travel for a year from about three months ago. For work? Just, I don't want to leave my house. Yeah. I mean, I want to stay in, Lon in England. Mm. But you know what that is, George, don't you? No, it's you're, you're getting older. No, 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 it's not yeah. that. Uh, well, you are getting older, you can't deny it. Well, I'm, I'm getting older. But that's what you just like getting <laughs> cosy as well. Look, you've made your nest and you want to, you're, just, you're like a big old pigeon and you're moving your <laughs> feathered arse around in your nest and getting comfy. And you're prrr, prrr, in your I nest. am building my nest. And you don't want to fly away from the nest. I've got to find the right <laughs> rooster to sit in it with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's a rooster you're looking for. I always wondered. Or a cock. <laughs> <laughs>What about religious kind of values? Do you have any? Well, sort of, but not sort of specific denominational ones. No. We both, we kind of like the idea of treading a spiritual path, but we haven't found the right one. I suggested paganism last year, which Jonathan thought was a great idea because he thought it involved having a lot of sex in the garden. We did have sex in the garden <laughs> That's once. That's exactly what I was going to say. There was a lot of nudity. Skyclad or whatever it's called, was it? God, you're predictable. <laughs> yeah. And I like the idea of tantric sex, just because you can talk about your yoni and noni no, a lot. No, you didn't like it. Is. Yeah, you liked the idea of it until you realised you were allowed that. to finish. I don't mind, I don't no, mind not finishing particularly. That's the thing about tantric sex. Apparently, Sting practices it. Yeah, but I would keep finishing and pretend it was just caught me by surprise. <laughs> <laughs> and then ask to start again. It'd be just a, a good excuse to have even more. Well, you seem brilliant together. Oh. I and feel there's something missing from the picture. Where's your... I want to see someone sitting over there with you. Well, look out for someone. Get organised. I'll keep You've invited over. me to dinner now, so you can't... Yeah, wouldn't I? Yeah, no, no, no. Well, you know where I live. Yeah, yeah, have I, we haven't got your number, though, I don't think. Well, I'll write it down. Oh. Thank you. Well, thanks for coming on. God bless you both. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Have loads more kids. Loads more sex. <laughs> Maybe not the kids. Somewhere.